Hello everybody, welcome to the video all about arithmetic operations. Today we'll be focusing on magic squares. So what is a magic square? Let's begin by reading a short summary on what magic squares actually are and how we can approach these kinds of questions. So, a magic square is an arrangement of consecutive numbers starting from one in a matrix. Each number only occurs once, and the sum of the entries across any column, row, or diagonal is the same. The first step in solving these questions is to work out the sum of entries in a row, column, or diagonal. This number is also known as the magic constant. For a magic square with the side length n, magic constant equals n times n squared plus 1 divided by 2. From there, the gap should be easier to fill. So, magic squares will test your ability to apply formulas and also practice your addition skills. Hypothetically, in a magic square such as... As you can see, there are three squares in each side. What it means by magic constant is that in each number that's put into these squares, if it's a magic number, whether it be going across, up, or diagonal, they should all equal the same amount if you add it up together. So in order to find what these numbers would add up to, we just substitute the 3 into the n. So, for example, in this, we can go n equals 3 times 3 squared plus 1 divided by 2. So that's 3 times 9 plus 1 divided by 2, which is 3 times 10 divided by 2, 30 divided by 2, which is finally 15. So the magic constant will be 15, meaning whatever number we put in here should add up to 15. So in a hypothetical question, let's say these numbers are substituted in this magic square. How should we complete it? Well, now we know the sum of each line would be 15. So all we have to do is simple addition or subtraction. So 15 minus 6 minus 2 would equal, we know 15 minus 6 would be 9, minus 2 would be 7. So we know that would be a 7 up here. Once again, we can do the same with the down. So then we have 15 minus 6 minus 8 equals what? Once again, we know 15 minus 6 is 9, minus 8 is 1. So that'll be a 1. Now, let's do the diagonal. Okay, so 15 minus 8 minus 2 equals... We know 8 plus 2 is 10, so it'll be 15 minus 10, so that would be 5. And we know 5 right here. And with that, we can quickly solve every single one of these. So let's say we're doing here, so it'll be 15 minus 5, which is 10, minus 7, which is 3. Or we can go this way, which is 15 minus 5, which is 10 again, minus 6, which is 4. And this way, 15 minus 5 which is 10 minus 1, which is 9. And there we go. What it means by having consecutive numbers starting from 1 in a matrix is that, as you can tell, they all consecutively go up. So if you count this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, there's no number missing here. It just keeps going up, and they all still equal 15. So one more thing to note before we move on to examples is, if you're not really bothered to memorize these formulas, then what you can do is memorize the magic constants. For every length of 3, it'll be 15. For every length of 4, it'll be 34. 5, it'll be 65. 6, will be 101. 7, will be 175. And 8 size, will be 260. It shouldn't really go further than that, because after that, it'll be quite tedious to solve. But, of course, since they're quite big numbers, 
If you forget it, you can always just remember the formula and insert it in. So let's do some examples, shall we? So in this example, the image below is that of a magic square containing the numbers from 1 to 16, inclusive. Calculate for y. Firstly, let's remember the formula for the magic constant. So the magic constant is n times n squared plus 1 divided by 2. So in this case, we know that there are 1, 2, 3, 4 for the length. So we just substitute 4 times 4 squared plus 1 divided by 2. That'll be 4 times 16 plus 1 divided by 2, which is 4 times 17 divided by 2. Now we can quickly do 18 times 4, which is 7 times 4 is 28. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6, which equals 68 divided by 2, which equals 34. So we can assume the magic constant is 34. With that in mind, now we just have to do some subtraction and some addition. So let's start with figuring out what this square is. That would be 34 minus 9 minus 6 minus 3. We can quickly do this by adding these three numbers together. So we know 6 plus 3 is 9 and 9 plus 9 is 18. So we can assume it's 34 minus 18, which equals, do we some quick calculations up here? That would be 2, and then 10 minus 8 is 2, plus 4, which is 6. 2 minus 1 is 1, then we get 16. So we can assume 16 will be this number. Now, we probably want this square so we can get the y. So in order to get this square, we probably need this square. So let's try and solve this diagonally. So once again, we go 34 minus 16 minus 1 minus 7, which equals, okay, we know if we add these together, 16 plus 1 would be 17. And we know 7 plus 7 is 14, so it will be 24. So we can assume it will be 34 minus 24 which equals 10. So we can include a 10 over here. And now we can solve this way. Okay, now we go 34 minus 15 minus 10 minus 5. We know if we add these up, that'll be 15 plus 5, which is 20, plus 10 is 30. So simply we go minus 30, and we get 4. And now we can do the final stretch so we can get the y. Okay. 34 minus 9 minus 4 minus 7. So 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 plus 9 is 20. So we can assume it's 34 minus 20, which will equal 14. So if y is 14, then this should equal 34. In order to check that y is 14, we can go the opposite way. Would this add up to 34? Okay, so we know that's 9 plus 4 plus 14 plus 7 equals. We know 9 plus 7 is 16. 16 plus 4 is 20, and 20 plus 14 is definitely 34. So there we go. There we have the answer. A. Y equals 14. So that's how you would do a magic square kind of question. The most important thing is to remember this formula so you can always know the constant and the rest of it should be quite easy. 
I hope you finally know how to solve magic square questions and good luck for any future questions involving magic squares. Bye!